so finally Ceylon Nirvana has been sold out so I'm just gonna do this video and just to add a few comments to how we made it and the materials that we used now I mean I'm sure I didn't mention it in the other videos and I'm sure you guys have seen these clips before but what I didn't mention in, in previous videos is really how long it actually took us to 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 make this oil it was it took us literally two years to to collect enough high quality dust from quite a few different batches of Sri Lankan wood um, and it wasn't low grade Sri Lankan wood this is really high grade Sri Lankan wood sinking grade so they they'd already come to Dubai really I mean, as you could see in the previous video relatively cleaned already once it gets to Dubai it goes through a further cleaning process to get more grades out of it and that's when we collected the higher grade dust now this clip here is is um, the dust that we used to make the Ceylon Nirvana it was it was extremely high grade and the um, the oil itself is is a representation of that I mean just the sheer thickness of the oil the the, the fact that it, would, it was sinking within in the in the flask as it was getting as it was getting produced here we just you know grind we've grinded it down we're just mixing it up in in the pot to to actually uh, get it properly soaked um, and and then stick it in the pot afterwards as soon as it's done and we start cooking it up we got within a you know uh, 10 hours we've got these really thick juicy incredibly aromatic oils um, that was coming through but the problem we had was that it was so thick and so high grade that it, it would it would it was so resinous that it would sink to the bottom of the flask um, and then you, if you could see that tube there some of it would go in back into the pot so quite a bit of yield was lost in 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 the making of Ceylon Nirvana but as you can see the color and the texture of this and and just the viscous of the of the oil was just really thick and super aromatic um, you can see the color here where it's you know green that super green color um, which to be honest doesn't last long um, not when you when you're producing the real stuff like this color here it, it didn't last long after a while it changed over to to kind of this like light uh, dark uh, slightly darkish uh, um, light brown um, but it wasn't this color here this color the here is is relatively fresh within a, a two three months it was it was uh, it was different color but um, this is the total yield we got there um, which wasn't much um, considering the amount of uh, dust and uh the grades of dust that went in there and the cost of it all really just doesn't really justify making such high grade oils especially at the price i was selling it at um and a lot of a lot of people don't realize this uh, you know uh, in, in the oud industry they think everything's super cheap but little do they know that it is you know the profit margins on on high grade wood and oil is far less Far less than the, the the lower grade stuff, and that goes for oil and wood. Using a high grade um, uh, oud oil or, or oud, uh, wood chip itself, it, by nature it just takes years and years, decades, and uh, to, to 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 make oils from it is 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 even more hard, harder because it's it's about sourcing the the right materials, and the price just doesn't justify uh, the whole process anyway that being said it was an absolute privilege making such high grade oil likes of which we may not ever see again farewell Ceylon Nirvana